It me, Da Doom. Welcome to the hall. Welcome, war gamers, to a King Bonsai journey vlog. So I am currently traveling to the Nova Open 2017 to, to do the Hobbit doubles tournament with my brother, and then participate in the Grand tournament as well. So currently, I'm driving there. Currently, or my dad's driving me as usual. So. Uh, we should get there a bit before the doubles, probably about the time Chaos and Arda ends. And, yeah, so for doubles, I've brought a Dark Denizens and Mirkwood army. And what it consists of is the Spider Queen, 12 Mirkwood Spiders, and... No, 2 Mirkwood Spiders and 12 Giant Spiders. And then my brother has the Witch King on Fell Beast, 323, and he's... and he's uh, leading 12 giant spiders. So those are our two halves of the doubles army. So yeah, we're going to be doing that and I'm looking forward to seeing how well I can do, we can do. For the GT, I'm bringing uh, Erebor Reclaimed. I've got Dane Ironfoot leading five Iron Hills Dwarves with Spear and Shield, three Iron Hills Dwarves with Spear and Crossbow, one Iron Hills Goat Rider with War Spear, and one Iron Hills Banner Bearer with Shield and Spear as well. Dane is on his War Boar. So Thorn's leading the same War Band except no Banner. Uh, I'm currently using my Thorn on Pony model to proxy for Thorn with Orcrist and uh, Goat because they have not released the Goat yet. So I also have Galadriel Lady of Light in there because she just gives blinding light, protection, resistant, well, not exactly resistant to magic, but the Fortify Spirit. She can banish Ring Wraiths, great support hero. Her minus one Courage Rounder is really good in the end game as well. So that is why I'm bringing, and I'm looking forward to competing against some of the best of the Americans, Canadians, and I think the British who are coming over are just TLing, but in the case that they aren't against some of the best of the British too. So I'll come back when we reach the venue. For my first game in doubles, I played Dave Nolan and his friend Gary. Hello! Which Dave is right here, and uh, if we have time, we might be able to do an well, interview. Let's, let's do a very okay, quick we're doing it right time. now. So, pretty much, we had, uh, I had charged my spurs all in onto uh, me and my brother, although I was being a little over controlling in this case, but charged into his fell beast, the Taskmaster, and the two uh, raids came on in separate areas, came over in that corner of the board, and then the um, Necromancer came on and pretty much he caused the death of the Witch King by sapping his will, then ended up in combat with him. Eventually the Necromancer died on like one of the last turns. I killed the Umbar and Taskmaster, but was just off killing the Undying, so Dave uh, and uh, Gary did win 11-5, to five, but it was a very close game. Do you have any thoughts on it? <laughs> no, it was a shattering game. Uh, you played very, very well. The, the army you have on this terrain, which is nothing but forest, practically, worked very, very well. You didn't actually need to use the forest as such, because you did bring the game to us out in the open, Rodnos having to chase after you. Uh, perhaps that could have been a way for you to um, to win, since our necromancer was so separated from his synergetic taskmaster, so he wasn't going to be able to do a lot of channel chill souls in your area. Um, because of that, then we had a scenario where if you had concentrated your spiders away we would have had to try to just destroy you with magic and then on the last moment, the last turn or two, you could have charged out and got enough troops into the central point and at the same time try to engage some of our guys to, to prevent them doing much damage. We have the same points in armies, all you had to do was kill the taskmaster, not suffer any wounds and quite possibly you could have won the game without any general kills at all. That would have been a very tact tactful game, but not a very fun game. So I, I commend you guys for bringing it out to us. I commend the way you played. The hunting down and destruction of the Necromancer on your part was, was fantastic. Our misuse of will throughout the game 
rolling four wheel or five wheel when we only needed maybe one or two and risk it for a biscuit. Other than that, I, I thought brilliantly done, fantastic effort, and I believe it ended 11 5. I think on a single dice roll, it could have ended 11 5 in your favour. Yeah, it probably could have ended around there, but. Yeah, I did still lose, and I'm quite glad I didn't manage to play you, though. Oh, it's been delightful playing you. I regret playing you because I would have loved for you to have a much more uh, interesting and productive and definitely a game where you would have progressed further up the rankings, but you, you literally kept me on the edge of my seat. Um, I thought that I might easily get a win from you, and I regretted thinking about that. I underestimated you and your brother. Well, thank you very much, Dave, and no uh, hope to see you uh, winning this thing in, uh, instead of us in this case, I guess. But Well, I, I don't know. Your, your army has shown myself and Gary that um, we have a, a, a long, hard road ahead of ourselves. <laughs> but thank you kindly for the game. Thank you for the interview You're as well. You're welcome, Dave. Cheers. Bye for Good now. Good luck. Thank you. So after the second doubles game, I ended up losing 7-5. to five. My Spider Queen managed to get 5 wounds off, and so I got more wounds than the uh, opposing general who got none, who was scared of my Witch King black darting him, which he took a wound and a fade off. But what happened is the Witch King uh, failed her whole combat. I charged in on a bad turn before that, so that a lot of my Spires died, and I had to keep charging to try and make up the wounds. And then one of my our forces broke, uh, my brother's was wiped out, and so it just went downhill. I couldn't, if I had been able to break one of his forces and keep him from getting twice the number, or three times the number of wounds, I would have been able to win, but oh well, I wasn't able to do that. But I am quite glad that, you know, I still got five VPs and I do still have another game. I had a lot of trouble rolling, we just couldn't roll high enough to really win very often, so we are just taking damage and dying, so hoping for uh, better luck and uh, fewer mistakes in the next game, but hey, maybe I get all my bad dice rolls out for the GT, so I will see you after the third game. So this is the end of the first day at Nova. So our last game was actually a victory. We were winning, and but then our opponents decided to forfeit. I think they were getting pretty tired. It was the last game of the night because it was night at that point, so uh, one thing that might have pushed it is I charged my Spur Queen into a uh, Iron Hills Captain uh, with Matok, who didn't have any might left, so there was no striking on, no Captain or Spire Queen had might, as well as some Dwarves and then Dane and uh, Goat Rider and a couple more Dwarves gone, so with eight Dwarves, one Matok Dwarf, one Captain with Matok, a Goat Rider charging and Dane charging, all were on the Spider Queen. The Spider Queen rolled a 6, they rolled a 6. Then Dane, however, um, not Dane, the roll off, so because they were both equal fight, because Dane was fight 6, went to the Spider Queen. So Dane actually got knocked down because she counts as Monster's Calvary went because she had charged. So she ended up rolling uh, 5 wounds on Dane, so they just decided to forfeit at that point. So it actually left us with more VPs than anyone except the top two people, but we ended up in 17th place because we got five tournament points, so because we had a major loss, which is zero, we had a narrow loss, which is lose by one to two victory points, which gave us one, no draws, which would give us two, no minor wins that give us three, but a major win that gave us four tournament points. So yeah, a pretty good day, and I'm quite looking forward to the GT tomorrow. See you then. So that is the end of doubles. Stay tuned for the singles. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Support your Hobbit hobby and Akmanruki Astu. Thank you.